Hi everyone and welcome to the PDF document session. My name is Javier Melendez and I'm a software engineer here at Soyo. I've been working for Soyo uh, about two years and a half now. And let's see what PDF document can do for us when it's about creating new PDF documents from, for any supported platform. In fact, you can use PDF document on desktop platform, both on macOS, Windows, Linux, also on your web projects or iOS projects, and of course, in your console projects and Raspberry Pi. PDF document started in Soyo 2020 R1 release, and we have been improving it uh, since then on every new release, adding new features, improving existing features, and of course, fixing bugs. Of course, one of the best things about PDF document is that you won't need to learn new things for use it because you will be using in fact the same graphics context that you are used to when drawing to pictures, canvas or other classes that are using the graphic context. In fact, you will find the same properties as for example setting the ball for text using brushes or the drawing color, setting fonts using the font name and other many many properties already existing in the regular graphic class. Of course, this same applies when it's about using the existing graphic methods in PDF document. So for example, you can draw shapes as lines, rectangles, ovals, etc. Also draw paths using the existing methods, drawing picture, including mask and transparency, and all the other usual methods, as for example, save and retrieve the graphic state or create new clips. But let's start with some PDF document basics, as for example, how to create a new PDF document instance, how to add pages or change the format of a page from portrait to landscape, and of course, adding some basic content to the pages in the PDF document, and finally, saving the PDF document to disk. So creating a new PDF document instance is really easy. Everything we have to do is define a variable, as for example, my document as new PDF document. If you decide to use the by default constructor, then the first page of the PDF document will have a letter size, but you can use other variants from the constructor, as for example, setting the page using PDF document page size and choose one of the available formats or page formats from the enumeration. In addition, it is also possible to um, set the width and height of the page directly in the constructor as for example 2000 by 3000 points. Let's skip the by default constructor by now and then the next step is to assign the con graphic context from the instance to a regular graphic instance. So we create a new variable named g as graphics, assigning to it the graphic context from my document. From this point on, we can use any of the available properties and methods from the graphics class in order to draw and render content in the page of the My Document instance. As for example, we can draw text using draw text I there and setting the X and Y coordinates for the drawing. So let's set 20 and 50, for example. Finally, we are going to save our PDF document to this. So we need to invoke the save method on my document instance and pass along a folder item as, for example, a special folder, desktop, child, my first PDF, PDF 
if we run our project we can see how the pdf the generated pdf is open in the viewer app you can choose acrobat pdf reader preview or any other pdf viewer app you want to use so here is our file name as we set in code and showing the text draw in the coordinates we set on code so let's see now how we can add new pages to our document the most simple way is to use next page method from the graphic context but also we can pass along the expected width and add for the new page so if we copy and paste here the same method for drawing some more tests in the second page run the app and open again the pdf file in the viewer app we can see now how we can create pdfs mixing uh, pages with different sizes so you can combine uh, the first page for example with a letter format or letter size and then a4 or any other size you want to use for your pdf document so the point here is just this creating a new instance really simple assigning the graphic context from the pdf document instance to a graphic variable and then just start to use the methods and properties you are used to for drawing and render content on every new page and in order to add new pages to the pdf document just use next page method probably the main content you are going to add to your pdf documents is text and when it's about text in pdf we have to talk a bit about fonts and fonts handling the main topic here is that you can stay in the safe zone using the PDF standard 14 fonts that are Helvetica, Times Square, Symbol and Zap Dimbats. Of course, not all these fonts are installed by default in all the operating systems. As for example, on Windows, you don't have Helvetica installed by default, and on Linux systems, probably no one of these fonts are installed by default. So it's important to remind this because in order to draw text, you need to have all the fonts you want to use installed in your computer. So for example, while on MacOS, you can use any of the standard 14 fonts. On Windows, probably you will find more interesting using Arial instead of Helvetica, Times New Roman instead of Times, and Courier New instead of Courier. While on Linux, you can use any of the liberation fonts installed on many of the Linux distributions, or simply install the fonts you want to use when rendering text in your PDF documents. Of course, it is possible to use any of the fonts installed in your computer apart from the 14 in the PDF standard. And in that case, just remember to enable the embedded fonts property on the PDF document instance so the font data is included in the PDF document. In addition, there is another way to use fonts that are not installed by default in the computer. So this is an interesting way to use fonts at runtime. This is done using the add fonts method on the PDF document instance. Let's see an example about how this works. In order to use fonts at runtime, the first thing we need to do is to add to the project a copy files tip pointing to the folder that includes the fonts we want to use. For example, this copy file step is pointing to the fonts folder. It's important because we have to pass a folder to add fonts method. And then on the properties panel, you need to choose resource folder as the destination, subdirectory fonts, are kicked to any and applies to both so it runs uh, when debugging and also when deploying the, the app. In the case of MacOS we 
we also need to add a, an external file. It's a pleased file whose contents are simply a key with the ATS application fonts path entry pointing to the name fonts as a string. That is the name of the folder that we are including in our project through the copy files step. Then if we look into the opening event handler for the project, the first thing we, we do after creating the new PDF document instance is setting embedded fonts to true. So the font data is included in the generated or rendered PDF document and then call to the draw as fonts method passing along the document instance. In the draw at fonts method, we set the folder item TT font to embed variable to a special folder resource fonts, uh, oh, both for Windows and MacOS. And then we use the add fonts method passing along the TT font to embed folder item. Then, as you can see here, we are setting the font name first place to honey stall your jumper and then we are going to draw some text using that font then we change the font name to the second font added uh, in our fonts folder that is Montserrat and drawing another piece of text in the same page so if we run our app we can see how the generated PDF file is using now the two fonts added at run time, both Honey I Stole Your Jumper and the Montserrat fonts. Probably another of the main resources you are going to use when rendering your PDF documents are images. And for that, you only need to use any of the available variations of the draw picture uh, method on the graphic context from the PDF document instance. When it's about images, a PDF document will be in charge of automatically create all the underlying mask and transparency objects. So you can apply to it any value when using, for example, the opacity property or simply to see through images as PNG files that have a transparent background. So you can combine them to create as many layers as you want. Let's see some examples about how this works. In this case, we are going to create a PDF document composed of several images, text, and also some shapes. Uh, the images added to, to the project have a resolution higher than the, the one we are going to use when the images are added to the, to the page, as you can see even at 1200 by 800 pixels. So in the Apple Farm method, we are drawing these pictures using the regular draw picture method. When we run our project and create the PDF file, we can see how the images added to the document are really sharp, even when using a zoom scale beyond 100%, in this case is 600%, but we can also apply 1200% and the image still looks really sharp. That's the same thing when we look into the second image added to the, to the page. In this second example, we are going to see how the transparency behaves when it's about drawing pictures in layers that are above other layers. So for example, in this case, we did that the grass BG file. This is a, a PNG file with transparent background and is drawn to the page of the PDF document, just passing along the image name and the X and Y coordinates. So when we run the project, we can see how the image has been drawn, preserving the transparency. So the text in a layer below it is still vectorial and you can see it through the image added above it. Of course, PDF document is in charge of creating all the needed mask and transparency layers for your PDF document. 
In addition to text and images, PDF document has much more to offer when it's about using the, the graphics context, for example, print reports from the report created with the report editor at full vectorial quality. You can use also brushes to draw all kind of lineal or radial gradients in order to use them in the filling of the shapes or even the text or the outline of the text. Also clip to rectangle and clip to path and of course create as many clip you may need from the main graphic context in order to draw just into the specified area of the page. In addition you can use outline text and even uh, set the the dash pattern used in the drawing of the outline for the text and not only the text but also any shape draw using draw path and in addition to that you can use any object created from the object 2d class or the group 2d classes but the pdf format has much more to offer apart from drawing on pages. For example, you can find on PDF document many of these features as adding forms to your PDF document so you can send the recollected data to a server or via email. It is also possible to add a signature field to your PDF documents so the user can sign the document using a digital certificate in order to authenticate the document and make sure that such document has not been modified. Of course, you can add uh, a table of contents to your created PDF documents, including several sections or nested sections for every page. Also add interactive links, add annotations to the pages of your PDF documents and even the slides of this presentation has been created using Sojo and PDF document including the transitions and that's all so thanks for watching and please don't hesitate to ask your questions and reports and of course review the several examples you can find in the examples folder for the Sojo distribution